Madison Beer is already writing songs about the new man in her life. Plus, it sounds like she's so in love. Oh, and Chrissy Teigen, we love you. Thank you for finally spilling the beans on Kylie Jenner's pregnancy. And Selena Gomez is doing great after two weeks in a mental health facility. Was Justin Bieber to blame for her visit? We're talking about this all right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> Happy Friday, you guys. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Chanel Herland. We, and just to clarify before they're like, are what you the hell are you wearing? Oh, are you going to say? I was just about to <laughs> yeah. say, we did not plan to match or at to all. At all. It's just great minds. Think oh, alike. I know. I, mean, like, I know. We can't beautiful. help it. We can't help it. So, all right. We're going to talk about another Madison. Um, of course. Madison Beer. I know. I feel so weird saying my own, own name in third person. But uh, trust me, I cannot sing and I could never release an EP. <laughs> So Madison Beer released a new EP today and it's titled As She Pleases and on there is a song called Teenager in Love and it is apparently about her new boyfriend, Zach Bia. He confirmed it himself when he commented on her Instagram tease about the song. He commented, quote, this is the one you wrote about me, right? Do you think this is a little soon for her to be writing songs about? I do think it's a little soon, but maybe it's a trend as well. I mean, yeah. Zayn is writing about Gigi, uh, right. Taylor Swift does it all the time about right. all her exes. So. There's a pattern here with the, the young stars and their songs. I got it, I got it. And it kind of is good, I guess, too, because as you guys know, she kind of had a bad breakup. Um, so judging by this new song, it sounds like she is all about this new guy. Super cute. He, it, they're cute together. Yeah. It's, it's still definitely young love, you can tell. But the song and her new EP seems to be getting tons of love from fans. People have been tweeting about it all morning. Madison herself tweeted this. She said, quote, I have no words. I'm so overwhelmed and grateful. Thank you so much. What did you think about her song and the her EP? Her song is cute and I agree with you. It's mm -hmm. got super Ariana Grande vibes. And mm -hmm. I think for her herself, this is just such a great achievement. I mean, a breakup right. is never great for anyone. Now she's in a new relationship. Mm -hmm. Lots of PDA all over Instagram and everything, <laughs> which sometimes is questionable. But then again, if it makes her happy and she's writing song, songs about it, bringing some inspo, I say, yeah, I it's agree. Great. Like if your new relationship is bringing you new music, yeah. I'm all for it. We are feeling the love. But someone who might not be feeling the love from the Car Jenners <laughs> is Chrissy Teigen because the woman kind of basically, but like not really, confirmed Kylie Jenner's pregnancy on Watch What Happens Live last night. We're gonna talk about that in a minute, but first let's talk about Selena Gomez because some big news came out about yeah. her today. Um, Us Weekly reports that while Selena was working in New York, she checked herself into a mental health facility for two weeks to seek treatment for her depression mm -hmm. and anxiety. Um, due to Selena's past, if you remember back in October 2016, she canceled her tour and then went to rehab yeah. um, for depression and anxiety. So she was basically just kind of trying to stay on top of her mental health, which is very admirable. For sure. And definitely praise her for that. A source told Us Weekly, quote, she feels great. She doesn't want to slip back into where she was ever. She always wants to be proactive. Um, the source did go on to say that Selena's had a lot going on the last few months. As you guys know, she's been reconciling with Justin Bieber and her mom has has not really been on board with any of that. Shell, you and I haven't gotten to talk about this. Yeah. What do you think about Selena's mom not accepting her and Justin Bieber and all the fallout that's happened because of that? Well, the fact that they're doing this counseling together as mm -hmm. a family to try and make it to try and make it work I actually said to other Madison that I've been in a relationship now for seven years so I know how important it is to get your parents approval mm -hmm. so going through therapy and knowing that her mom isn't happy I totally understand that anxiety because right. you, she loves Justin Bieber mm -hmm. she wants to be with Justin Bieber but mom doesn't approve and they have such an amazing relationship already right. so the fact that she's taking care of herself and kind of having solutions I think is amazing right and especially for her young fans to see this I agree that she's open, it's admirable, right? Really. And knowing when you're kind of starting to get in that rabbit hole that yeah. you need to do something about For sure. it. And she's in the public eye, so she has 10 times more pressure on this relationship oh, yeah. and her relationship with her mom than I'm sure any of us could probably conceive. Because we all want Chelina. <laughs> we all, exactly, we all want Chelina. And um, what's good about this is People were kind of thinking, did Justin Bieber cause this? But he didn't. He yeah. did not cause it. The source said, quote, he knew about it and was supportive, but the trip had nothing to do with him. It was all her all her decision. She feels great and is working on new music, which is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think that she's going to pull a Madison Beer and write a song oh. about Justin Bieber? <gasps> we'll be so excited if that's true. Because <laughs> my Jelena heart yeah. would be beating so, so, so oh, fast. Oh, yes. So fast. All right, last. Um, but not least, let's talk about Chrissy Teigen. She was on Watch What Happens Live last night with Andy Cohen, and she kind of spilled a little tea. <laughs> 
I guess, would you I say? I like that you say that, yeah. Tiny. I like how you say spill the beans. That yeah. sounds smart. I oh, like you don't that. know that one. No, I've heard that, but uh. I like yours better. But anyway, Andy Cohen started off, he asked her a question, and he was like, it was great, because he was like, so when did you find out about Chloe's pregnancy? And by the way, what does Kylie's bump look like? <laughs> yeah. And Chrissy got super uncomfortable. Well, that's why I love Andy Cohen, because he's so frank. He's like, why is this all a secret? The mm -hmm. fact that it's a secret is kind of confirming the secret. Exactly. And why is it a secret? Exactly. And then she said this. It's obvious. I, know. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah, know. it seems odd. I know, but like, I can't really say anything. And she <laughs> super gets super awkward. uncomfortable. Like, her facial expressions kill me. And Chrissy Teigen is known on social media for being such a truth for yeah. Like, she calls people out left all the and time. right. So you could tell she just wanted to, like, be truthful and be authentic, but she's but she like, can't. I'm best friends with the Kardashians and the Jenners, and I can't say anything. And that's the thing that's, I guess, cool, but also kind of sneaky and creepy is that the friends around the Kardashians are so close, and I'm sure that they know that if they slip, they'll come cr crashing down on them oh, one time. Oh, for sure. So Chrissy and, was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> and we know that the sisters have a pact yeah. that they don't talk about each other when they do these interviews. But it's just crazy to me, like what you're saying, that that's gone to the friends, to friends. as well. That's how powerful they are. That's blows how my powerful. Mind. And I'm just so over all of these, like, oh, did she say it? Is this what she mean? I'm just like, please, can we just end it? Because you know she's supposed well, to be soon. due any time now. Yeah, so we're soon ending it, so we can't flip and wait for this baby to oh, arrive God. because we've been talking about it for like nine months. Literally nine months. Chanel and I are just ready We're for this baby to be here. <laughs> to arrive. All right, you guys, let us know what you think about all of these stories. What do you think about Madison Beer already writing new songs about the new man in her life? What do you think about Selena Gomez and her recent trip to a mental health facility? Are you guys happy to hear that Jelena is still going strong? Because we definitely are. And last but not least, what do you think about Chrissy Teigen spilling the tea on Kylie Jenner's pregnancy? Are you sick of all these little <laughs> hints and teases? Because we are. Let us know down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you here next time on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Bye.